for watching Whoops in the Dungeon. I'm Dex and we're going to continue our two-handed two whip throwing playlist. And as always with Whips in the Dungeon, we look at all different classes of whips uh, that can be thrown. And the first class of whip that we started with, even with single-handed throwing, was a flogger. A multi, or sometimes called a multi-tailed whip. So I have, uh, I happen to have a couple of floggers today. So if you're going to do two-handed work, you could just use any two floggers. But I recommend that you, if, if you can afford it or have thought about it enough, if not, start saving your pennies up. Buy a set of floggers from the same flogger maker. Now, they don't have to be a match set per se, but if you have the intention of doing two-hand work and learning Florentine, uh, there's four count and there's six count. I myself am in the learning process, so we're going to start with four count and migrate to six count. Uh, but I recommend that you get a pair of floggers from the same flogger maker. My next recommendation it does is those floggers be the same leather. These are both goat skin, veg tan goat skin. Okay, then you want the floggers to be the same length. So even if they're not the same leather and you're gonna throw two-handed, you at least want them to be the same length. So there's some advantages to throwing uh, two floggers from the same flogger maker, the same length and the same leather. One of them is they're going to be, they're going to have approximately the same number of tails. So the collection will be the same, whether it's on the left or the right. And uh, they're going to weigh about the same. They're going to be balanced about the same. And it'll make it easier in the learning process as you're learning to throw a pattern with them. What are some advantages of having a, a mismatched set? Let's say they were the same from the same flogger maker, the same length of tail, let's say they're both 22 inch long tails, uh, half inch wide tails, but one is cowhide and one is goat. So the cowhide's gonna be heavier than the goat. The advantage of that is just providing a, ver a variation of sensation as you're playing with the bottom. I don't recommend that as a place to start simply because you've got different weights and different hands, but as you gain more experience two-handed, you should easily be able to throw mismatched floggers. Uh, throwing mismatched whips is going to be a different thing, but I call this four count because if you count this, it's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, two, three, four, as opposed to a six count. And I won't say I'm the best two-hand flogger, thrower in the world because I'm just learning four count Florentine myself. We're taking this journey together. But another thing you can do with two hand floggers is you can hold both floggers in one hand, whether it's your, your dominant hand or your off hand, and you can throw that together. So that makes that collection twice as much. So if I have a regular flogger and I'm throwing two handed and I want it to feel more like a mop, I could put those two floggers together and throw them as a mop, and now that collection's twice as heavy. So just some initial ideas with floggers and throwing two-handed. When I get good enough to demonstrate six-count Florentine or I find someone willing to demonstrate it for the channel, we'll be back with a six-count Florentine video for you. As always, subscribe, ring the bell, and thanks for watching Whoops in the Dungeon.